Okay, friends, now that you've shopped the French brocante with me, let's, let me uh, share with you now my French finds that I found there. Uh, the first item I want to share with you is this wooden cutting board. And I love the used look of this one. It's just used, weathered, and um, loved. Uh, it was definitely used a lot. Uh, you could see... I don't know if you can see it on camera very good, but um, definitely a lot of cut marks in this one. And uh, you can I think you can pick up on camera too that it's it's um, a little bit lower in the center and uh, up higher on the sides there. So definitely a lot of cutting was going on in the center part right here. And so it's just so neat though how has the scratch marks you could see or the cut marks rather and uh, I just love how this one is looks very aged and weathered but yet it also has that uh, raw wood look to it as well and this one was 12 euros but when I brought all the items up to her she ended up tolling everything and then giving me a discount off of the total price so that was really nice the next item I want to share with you is this wooden peg rack and I was actually on the lookout for one of these while I was there. I was hoping I would find one and I was so glad that I did. And it has these little metal hooks on either side for easy hanging. And these are just so nice for so many different things. For being able to hang your coats or your little market bag on. You could even hang this in the bathroom uh, to hang towels on or your bathrobe things like that. Um, there would even be great in a kitchen to hang your kitchen apron and a towel from. So many different uses um, for these wooden peg racks. And so I'm so glad that I found this one for 15 euros while I was there. Okay, my last uh, wooden item to share with you is this wooden masher kitchen utensil. And I love the aged look of this one as well. It reminded me of the cutting board because it just uh, has that aged look and well-loved, <laughs> well-used look as well to it. So um, that's what I paid for it, one euro. So I thought that was a really good price for that as well. The next thing I purchased was this candle holder because I love candles and I love old candle holders as well. And this one is really neat. It's a brass candle holder, taper candle holder, and you can move your little taper candle up and down here with this little lever that's on the side. And this brass candle holder was 12 euros. I also got this brass candle holder as well, and I really like the aged brass look on this one. It has that antique gold color to it, which I love. And uh, this one didn't have a price tag on it, but I believe it was only a couple of euros for it. It's hard to resist a cute teapot, isn't it? And this one I thought was so cute. And the fact that it was metal, enamelware, that would travel very nicely without getting broken in my luggage and uh, I could get it home safe and sound. So I was happy to find this cute uh, teapot for 12 euros. And it was in really good condition as well on the inside. So I had to bring that home, of course. You are probably noticing a theme by now. It's mainly wood items and metal items. And I am going to be sharing fabric items with you next. And those are all things that travel so nicely <laughs> without you having to worry about it. Okay, so for the first fabric item I wanna share with you, I found these really cute red striped French grain sack tea towels. And these came in a pack of two, tied up so cute with a string. And uh, these were 12 euros. 
And as you know, I love the red stripes. As you can tell here, I have the French grain sack striped uh, table runner. And I also love the red twill that I have in my home, as you know. So these, of course, caught my eye right away. Okay, so for my next fabric finds, I first found this beautiful French lace. And it's just wrapped around this little piece of cardboard here. I found that for one euro. And then next I found these three handmade French doilies. That one's the biggest one there on the bottom. And then the two smaller round ones. And then the larger one is a square shape. And they were wrapped up, uh, folded rather, nice and neat in this uh, little plastic baggie. And I got all three of them for one euro. So I was just very excited to find this French lace and handmade doilies in France. And the prices were so great on these as well. So I was very excited, thought it was so cool. Okay, this last fabric item I wanna share with you is my last item and it is not from the Brocante, but I thought I would just share it with you anyways, because I did a video recently of Pont Avon in the Brittany region of France. And you may remember the water mill from that video. And uh, it was an adorable village that we went through and I picked up this tea towel there. And so I thought I would share this with you as well while I'm doing this whole video. And I love the stripes on here. And of course I love the scene of the water mill as well. And uh, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And that is my last item I'm gonna share with you today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed shopping the Brocant in France with me and also seeing my French finds that I picked up while I was there. And also don't forget to check out our online store. I will put the link in the description box below. That really helps to support my channel and to help me to make more videos like this for you. So I hope you will shop on there and also be looking out for the new items that we will be listing that uh, I purchased while in France. I'm also going to put my link to my Instagram uh, below in the description box as well, so you can check that out. And until next time, friends, au revoir.